Hi guys, it's Jonathan Chown here again with J Chown Golf at Crondon Park Golf Club in Essex. And what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about this one drill that's going to completely fix that slice shot. And I'm not over exaggerating because this drill is going to really target the face portion of it and the path. Because we can sometimes get drills that are great for targeting the path portion and ones that are really good for targeting the club face. But this one pairs both of them together. And there's one little addition we're gonna look at to this drill as well, which makes it even more effective. So before we get into it, please make sure you like the video, subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified every time I put out a video. So what we're really gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about one first, how do we slice a golf ball? So this is for a right-handed golfer. We are swinging with our path. This is a traditional slice going to the left. So we're swinging from out to in and that club face is open to that path for a slice shot quite severely open. So if we're swinging along really quite severely a path out to the left and that club face is quite open to that path, that ball is gonna go off to the right and slice in a hurry. So what we need to do to really practice this, I like to try and feel the opposite. Now, ideally the goal is to really straighten up the slice. I don't care if we try to get a draw, that's not really my full intention in this video it's more to neutralize the path so you're not so far out to win i'd prefer it just to be a little bit out to win so you're hitting a nice control fade or if not straight if a draw comes in there great but it's not the intention so really what this is again we've got to extreme it the other way so to practice something and really dial it down we've got to almost feel what the opposite is we've got to feel kind of the draw now we've got to know one when that path is going out to the left the face is open, that's what creates a slice. So we've got to almost practice the exact opposite, path going right and club face closed to that path. That's what we've got to do and that's exactly what this drill does. So how we do this drill is, one, we get down to club shaft parallel to the ground. Now, if you're a slice of the ball, when your club face or your shaft here is parallel to the ground, your club face will be outside your hands. Club face will most likely be a bit towed up, a bit open, if not very open. So you'll continue to come through and cut across that shot, creating the slice. Here, what we're doing, we are gonna get this club parallel to the ground again, club head inside the hands, and we want that club face slightly towed down. Now, this is how we do this drill. We get to that position, and it's called the pump drill. We get it there and we repeat it a good few times. So we want club, club shaft parallel to the ground in the downswing and we pump it. So we do it just like this. Go one, making sure the club head's inside the hands, club face is towed down a little bit, point to the ground, pump it again, two, pump it one more time, three, and on the next one, swing up and go. What we'll get, we'll get a little drawery shot in there. So it's where we're physically, when we're at club shaft power to ground, just before we're getting into impact, we are almost presetting the path we want and the club face we want. We're making sure that path, now the club head's inside the hands, we're making sure it's going out to or into out. And when that club face is closed, we're making sure the club face is closed to that path, creating the draw. So if I just do one full motion here, so we go one, two, three, and on four, go. Yeah, big slinger draw there. But this is to feel that opposite, like I was saying before, this is to feel the opposite. So then when I get up to a shot and I'm, let's say, really kind of slicey, it's probably gonna feel like I'm more coming into it a little bit more neutral. So this is how we practice that extreme on the other end. So again, let's look at another angle. So we really get the best view on how to see all these little bits, these little checkpoints we want. So you know exactly what to expect when you do the drill. So guys, let's have a little look at this pump drill from this perspective, so you know exactly what to see and what to look for in your checkpoints. So we know if we're slicing the ball, let's go and relate to our club parallel to the ground again. Our club head's gonna be more outside the hands, our club head's gonna be open. And unless we make a compensation last minute, we're just gonna cut across that ball. Path is gonna be going way out to the left, way out to in, and the club head's gonna be open to that path quite significantly. So what we wanna do to fill the opposite so we can neutralize it without the drill there so what we need to do for the drill club part or club shaft parallel to the ground again slightly towed down with that club you can see how the angle of the club face is more point a little bit more down to the ground and really this club head more inside the hands there so what we do we do that a good few times so we go one 
two, we'll go on the third one on this one. Three, to where we can see there. It's only, you're only hitting little shots, but again, it's to get the feeling of the opposites. Make a change even slightly, we need to feel the exact opposite. By no means we're wanting to say, let's hit draws, but we want to, if we're extremely out swing, we've got to almost feel an into out swing. So then we can neutralize it with the same feeling without the drill there. So let's talk about one little kind of addition we can do to this. You can see again, I've got my basket, upturn basket, and I've got an alignment stick. We're gonna stick this out the basket at a 45 degree angle again, and we're gonna place the ball just so we're probably about, let's say a grips distance, maybe a little bit more away from the basket. Now we can see if I struggle with the path aspect of this, but the face aspect's good we can drill that in there we can go with here right if i'm going to get that path more inside get that club head going more inside the hands more toed down for the club face i can't cheat this thing going over i can't go and have that slight over the top movement to go and hit that stick i've got a swing underneath it so let's try that again this is going to be extra daunting but if you're someone who really struggles with the path aspect get doing this you won't be able to cheat the path so go one two Good, club head inside hands, good. And then just go and hit it. Yeah, extra drawery there. Good. So really, again, checkpoints. Club shaft parallel to the ground in the downswing. Club head inside the hands. Club head pointing slightly down towards the ground. So it's more matching our back angle, if not slightly more shut. You could even think your knuckles slightly facing down to the ground. Pump it once, twice. You can do a third one, but you could also go on the third to really feel that extreme path. Good, that's what you know, what you've got to look for from the point of view, so you can get it good and get it down every time. So again, we've seen after the point of view angle that these are the things we need to look for and that little addition we really could do to even make that path even more extreme. Let's say if you're someone who really comes out to it, you're struggling more with the path part than the club face, a little addition, let's have another look from this angle again. So I'm just, Putting this in a basket, 45 degree angle, if we're on a driving range. If not, we'll stick it in the ground if we're on the grass. From here, I mean, there's no mistake of how inside I need to get that. But again, we're going quite far on the inside. So when we go hit it normally, we neutralize it a little bit. We won't all of a sudden go to hit slinging draws. It's not gonna happen to the drill. That's our intention, but it's not gonna happen normally. So there we go. One, two, just go on the third one that time i'm in there my path had to get so far on the inside that it was just feeling me hitting those real opposite shapes that we're used to we're really not going to be able to cheat it with this little addition here this is what makes this drill on steroids if your path let's say is really out you could be a golfer that just has a little bit of a path out there and it might more be the club face but again this drill will help tremendously for that because it targets both variables for this type of shot so guys if you like that video please like please subscribe and again press that bell button to be notified every time i put out a video so if you're struggling with a slice and you want a brilliant drill to do the pump drill is the drill for you with this addition there's no cheat in it you're going to get club face you're going to get path you're going to be hitting that ball a little bit better a little bit straighter after you take it all away